So it's the Thunderbolt T2000, which unlike the PNI 6001 is it, which has severe software or firmware issues, this is absolutely spot on. I've soon adjusted it for 4 watts, I actually had to turn a deviation down uh, to 2.2 average with an absolute maximum of 2.5 and it does exactly what I'd expect it to do. So, so far this is the best of the ones which use... This kind of chassis, Tango 21 receiving, go ahead. Yeah, Roger that, it's coming up to the end of the line. Roger, got you at the end of the line. Right, we're now passing Ancaster service station. Roger, got you at Ancaster service station. Roger got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Let's just change the colours, it does. Right, now passing the top of the hill, let's go down into Wilford over. Roger got you at the top of the hill. Roger got you going around Scratchy Corner at Willsford. Right, it's going over Willsford level crossing. Over. Roger, that's louder and clearer than usual. Roger, Dick. Right, we're passing the Kelby turn. Over. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. Roger got you at the Greylees turn. And that's always the most, that's always the most difficult one. Roger got you going over Rawsby level crossing and that concludes the test, thank you. Well, I can't fault it to be honest. It makes it's quite not often I can say that. Um, so we'll go over to our base station and see what it sounds like. Tango 21 testing the Thunderbolt T2000 into our Harrier CBHQ base station. Testing 12345, 54321 and thank you for watching.